This video is about a phenomenal project called as Dreamoving. Dreamoving is a diffusion-based controllable video generation framework to produce high-quality customized human videos. And it is more than that. The quality of the videos produced by this model are amazing. You can see some of the samples here where for example in this one a man dancing in front of pyramids of egypt wearing a suit with blue tie so this text prompt was given to the model and look at the quality of the video which it has generated similarly look at this one a girl smiling dancing in french town wearing long blue dress and behind the girl you can see some of the french architecture and similarly this is a time scare and then so on and so forth main difference between this framework and rest of the stuff is the quality let me walk you through the architecture of this framework now if you look at this architecture this is amazing this is dream moving which is a diffusion based controllable video generation framework as i mentioned earlier now if you look at this architectural diagram the video control net is the image control net injected with motion blocks after each unit block and then the video control net processes a control sequence, whether it is pose or depth, to additional temporal residuals. And then the denoising unit is a derived stable diffusion unit with motion blocks for video generation. The content guider transfers the input text prompts and appearance expressions such as a human face. The clothing is optional here to content embedding for cross attention. Now, if you go to their uh, demo page and I'll show you the demo shortly too. That is amazing. For example, look at these samples video. Let me play any one of them. Let's see. Let's play this one. Now, if you look at this, the quality is amazing and the fidelity is also very, very strong. For example, let's play this one where, uh, on a beach. So if you look at the quality, you would notice that the guidance sequence and simple content description whether it is text or reference has produced this output which is simply amazing this is just four minutes but within four minutes you can see the vibrancy and vividness of the human structure plus the background now as i mentioned earlier dream moving has already demonstrated proficiency in identity control through a face reference image and precise motion manipulation via pose sequence and comprehensive video appearance control prompted by a specified text prompt. So, which is with it. Let me take you to one of the demo page and I'll drop the link in video's description too. Let me select one of my own image to see what it does with it. So I have generated one of my own image. Maybe I'll okay. Cart it, it's not allowing me to select a cartoon or anything. That is fine. Maybe I will just go with any one of these. Uh, maybe this one. Okay, no. I think I will just go with my own. Then and that's better. Just to give it more uh, flavored one. And then click on generation. And let's wait for it to see what happens here. So I have not only given my image, but I also have given it just a prompt by selecting this text to video. And let's see. So it is saying that there are 24 tasks ahead of you in the queue. Please wait for about 20 minutes. Okay. So let's see if I'm able to wait for 20 minutes. But anyway, meanwhile, let me also show you the project page of this project. So on your screen, you can see the project page where there are a lot of other examples where you can play around. Now, some people are asking, how is that impressive or more interesting than the motion capture we have all seen in movies and video games for the last 15 years? How, I mean, why is it so uh, impressive and people are really falling over each other to try it out? The thing is that this uh, is how it is being generated. And now you don't need actors. You don't need any humans. You just need a text prompt and then these sort of human characters will be generated from uh, your text prompts easily without any much ado. Also, video games have gigabytes of models, texture and assets. But this came from nothing but a 
mocap and some text describing what the characters look like everything else has been created from scratch on this post as you can already see all i have done here is in my uh, in that demo where is the demo there you go uh, all i have done is i have simply given my image and then a text prompt and then it is generating on the right hand side so it is still 15 minutes so i'll wait for 15 minutes and then i'll show you so this is why this is so important um, now you can read through the architecture which i have just described here and then these are the results which i showed you earlier so let's wait for my um, video to be generated for 15 minutes and then i will refresh the page and show you so i have waited for almost 50 minutes now and now it says that my video task is being processed and please wait for about zero minutes so let's see i'm refreshing it again okay let's let me wait for some more time to see if it generates a video it should be worth it because i waited for so long now so i waited for another 15 minutes and then <laughs> when i refreshed it it says your video generation failed and then it says you may try enabling the cartoon video generation option well no thank you i'm not going to try it again already i wasted one hour but anyway regardless of the fact that it uh, i was not able to generate the video from the demo because maybe it is, it is it is too much overloaded and rightly so uh, but you can see that the quality of the videos here that is amazing and uh, really impressed by the quality and i was checking its github repo to see if there was any option of installing it locally but i couldn't find any but i'll see as soon as i get any uh, pointers on how to do it locally i'll try it out uh, so you can see that really hats off to these researchers from intelligent computing alibaba group i think they have done a wonderful job here so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or any um, thoughts let me know in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much